This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! Okay, folks, so we're back to Chapter 2 of Higarashi When They Cry. Last time we finished the festival, we got to sneak into the weird shed with Takano and Shion, where they had a bunch of, like, torture devices there. And we learned a lot about the legends of the town, where supposedly... The town would regularly, like, disembowel people and torture them on the Watanagashi Festival, like, eat their flesh. It was very strange, because apparently the residents are, like, half-human, part-demon. Very, very weird. I don't know really what to make of it. But I do have a feeling that Shion is about to have not a great time, because she's now starting to hear things that nobody else can really hear, except for, uh, camera boy Tomotake. And... Kind of similar to what Keiichi went through last time, too, where in Chapter 1, Keiichi was hearing weird stuff as well, and everything started falling apart. I don't really know what to make of it. Again, I don't have a whole lot of the answers for the pieces of the puzzle. I'm just continuing as I go. But I have a feeling that there's going to be some uh, rough stuff involving Shion uh, <laughs> in the near future. Either she's going to go crazy, or we're going to go crazy, or everyone but her is going to go crazy. Regardless, I want people to go crazy. Or maybe nobody will go crazy. Maybe everyone, every, maybe everything is just normal in this chapter, just to take you off guard. I don't know. But here we are. Okay, did we go through the tips? Yes, we did. We have the new notebooks as well as the end of the festival, because that, that's where we had the cliffhanger that somebody died, and they know who it is because they have the dental records. But we didn't actually hear who it is, so let's continue. I let out a great big yawn. It was like morning had arrived just as I got to sleep. As Mom set up breakfast, she gave me a pained smile. Irrelevant. Well, we, we were a master salesman who, like, made sure everybody bought stuff from all the vendors. I crunched down hard on the pickled radish to hide my embarrassment. That's what you get for watching the late, late movie. Oh, wait. After all that happened yesterday and our discussion about the sound Shion heard... That baning noise, like a child far away, jumping up and down on a wooden floor. The story wouldn't get out of my head, so I had trouble sleeping. It was a long night, and I kept jumping at the slight sounds of faraway tree branches, which should have been either unhearable or too insignificant to notice. When I woke up to the morning sunlight and the birds chirping, it made me feel pretty ashamed about it, but... I felt far from refreshed this morning. Hi, Rena. Please don't go insane. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, well, I watched the late, late movie. I feel like everyone, if they're having school the day after the festival, that's going to be rough. <sighs> but they had that from chapter one as well. In Rena's case, her excitement seemed to still be wide awake. I don't think the wholesome times can stay, though. Rena talking about the festival yesterday made me remember everything I had nearly forgotten from last night. Flashback! The inside of the ritual storehouse had been so utterly different from the relaxed, bright, everyday life of Hinamizawa. All those stories that Takano-san told me, too. The mysterious incidents that occurred on the day of the Watanagashi Festival every year. The strange incidents where one person would die and one would disappear. The old stories of Hinamizawa flickering like a candle behind them. The numerous and horrifying traditions of the Onigafuchi village. The villagers with demon blood in them. The terrible cannibalistic feasts. The poor sacrifices kidnapped from human villages. Victims of the Onikakushi. To quell the rage of Oyashiro-sama, the ritual involving living sacrifices. There were also many, many others. There were so many stories that just remembering them put me in a foul mood. 
Most of them weren't fiction either. They were true. We didn't need to fear them just because they were real, though. Since it all happened so long ago. Such a very long time ago. But you don't want to compartmentalize history either. History really happened, and could happen again. Before I realized it, we had arrived at the place where we'd usually meet with Mion. Probably because I was so lost in thought. Mion being late wasn't too rare of an occurrence, but today she was unusually late. A few of the ominous tales from the night before came back to life in my mind again. Who would die this year, and who would disappear? It couldn't have been... Mion? If Mion disappeared or died, that would make for an interesting story. I don't know, you don't want to make teacher mad. <laughs> the little nervous face she had before, like, the bright smile, that was great. Rena looked at her watch and seemed a little worried, but then she nodded with a satisfied smile. Hmm. If we had to wait five minutes, we'd have to run as fast as we could to school or we'd be late. As soon as I thought that, we spotted Mion running towards us out of breath. <laughs> That's some attractive gasping. <laughs> Mion was breathing heavily, and her face was all red. Her house was right down this road, wasn't it? It wasn't far enough away for her to end up like this, was it? This. Oh, are they doing the twin swap now? Did she run? Is this Shion and she ran all the way from the city? Either that or Mion, you gotta get back on your regular exercise program. Huh? Now that she mentioned it, Rena pushed Mion's banes away and put her hand to her forehead. <laughs> I guess she could have been beating up Shion as well, but maybe not. <laughs> I'm worried about everyone. Ren is like, oh, so embarrassing. That answer wasn't like Mion at all. She must have had it pretty bad. You don't want to lie to teacher. Mion forced an energetic expression onto her face and flexed her biceps at us. I hope you know a shortcut. Hey, wait! You're sick! Don't go overboard! Mion began to run vigorously anyway. I thought she and Keiji were the same age. I decided to leave it at that and assume she was fine. We began to run after Mion. Hey, we didn't almost get hit by a car this time. The school looked the same as always. The hours passed listlessly, and my lack of sleep took its toll. If there was a sport where people competed by sleeping, I'd be the world champion right now. The trick to overcoming this sort of dangerous situation was to hold your pencil upside down. Why, you ask? So you don't draw strange patterns all over your notes while half asleep. If you were holding your pencil upside down, that wouldn't happen, would it? Now you're going to erase your notes. Bump, 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 bump. Something that felt like an eraser hit me in the head six times. Uh-oh, teacher's not happy we were sleeping in class! I knew it. Behind me, like a female outlaw might hold razors, was the teacher's shadow, holding three pieces of chalk in each hand. Uh-oh. She's Wolverine. 
お顔を洗ってらっしゃいあ,あ、はい、よ、喜んで Oh, he drew on his face. That alone was enough to wake me up, but I flew out onto the hallway as if shoved out by the pressure exuded by the teacher's sheer power. If I was going to wash my face anyway, then I would rather use the sinks out front rather than the ones in the dark restroom. Thinking that, I left the hallway and, and went to the entrance. The sunlight was strong. So strong you wouldn't think it was June. I turned the faucet, and with a lifeless bubbling noise, lukewarm water came pouring out. If I let it run for a few moments, would it get cold? I looked at it absent mindedly for a little while. Don't waste water! <laughs> Uh oh, she was sleeping in class too. <sighs> I stuck my hands into the water to find it had gotten so cold that it seemed strange it had ever been warm. <laughs> yeah, when, maybe Uisi isn't coming this time. I scooped it up and splashed it against my face. Because last time he contacted us because we drew, wrote our name on Tomotake's shirt and then he died. We didn't do that this time. So even if Tomotake died again, we would, there wouldn't be the connection between him and Keiichi, I would think. Unless he knew we were kind of sort of hanging out with his girlfriend. Once I was done, I moved out of the way, and Mion did the same. <laughs> That's an interesting face. Uh oh, Mion, you tried to party too hardy. Oh, she's, she's hung over. A bit. She made a gesture like she was tilting a cup into her mouth. Which means you didn't have a cold or anything. Well, that's what hangovers do. I suppose she'd be feeling lousy either way. That's true, he is a very bad liar. Keiichi, you left your shoes in the vein. Oh, darn it! Still, you treat colds and hangovers in completely different ways. Mion scratched her head, a little embarrassed. She didn't seem to be feeling well, but now that I knew it was a hangover, I didn't need to worry too much. It would go away with time, after all. Now that I looked again, Mion had her bag with her. She must have been on her way home. Hopefully Grandma's not too mad about that. Mion laughed wryly, saying we didn't need to worry about her. No matter how much fun we have, though, I think that feeling guilty about friends who can't share in it is the sign of a really fantastic friendship. In that sense, the club Mion had created is a wonderful thing. As I thought about it, the moisture on my washed-up face dried up. My washed face. Washed up. I'm just a washed up teenager. I'm going nowhere in life. I suppose we were talking too much. If I didn't get back to the classroom soon, I could get in trouble. I left it at that, turned around, and started heading back to the classroom. Mion stopped me, and turned, I turned my head to listen. <laughs> True. Ooh. We get the weird music. Uh, yeah, we kind of hung out with them. I suddenly tensed up. Yeah, I do. But I kind of wish I didn't. I mean, what? Oh, 
If I could, I wanted to forget about sneaking into the storehouse that night as soon as possible. So hearing the names of the people I was with at the time really got to me. Oh, you ain't gonna lie your way out of this one, bro. Besides that, though, why was Mion asking me a question like that? I ended up staring at her, unable to answer immediately. Was she asking to see if I had seen them or not? Or was she asking the question knowing that I had? I couldn't tell. And we're getting the creepy music now. What do you mean you don't know? That's such a... That's how you know... She's gonna know you're lying. Just say like, oh yeah, I saw them. Like, that's really all you have to say. Don't elaborate unless they ask you to. My vague response was clearly not to Mion's liking. What answer was she expecting from me? There was no way for me to know. So. Oh yeah, we made it. Uh, no, we didn't. My heart leapt into my throat again. The tiny needles buried underneath Mion's words pricked into me. She did. You used the same dumb lie twice! Uh oh! There it is! There it is! We got the crazy eyes! Uh oh! Crazy eyes come back! I suddenly noticed something in Mion's eyes. Something indescribable. Tomotake-san and Takano-san. Shion, too. She was asking me about them. There was no doubt about it. Last night, the four of us snuck into the ritual storehouse. She knew everything. So... So what? There's not really a curse anyway! That's right. Even Shion and Takano-san said yesterday during the festival that there was no curse. And that rather than a curse, it was the doing of the villagers. My blood curdled. Mion was... Almost without a doubt aware that we snuck into the storehouse. It was nothing strange. I screwed up bad flipping on the light switch last night. If Mion had been searching for me, it was simple to imagine that she had seen that momentary light and come to find out what was going on. But are you going to lie to her, or are you going to tell the truth? Uh-oh. We're the talk of the town now. Uh-oh. Did your was your grandma trash talking us? Unpleasant sweat dripped down my arms, and the sound of it hanging from my fingertips was so annoyingly loud. Dude, your sweat is making audible drips. I found myself unable to reply. My reaction must have made it obvious what the truth was, and yet I couldn't explain myself. You know, we probably should tell her the truth, because when we lied a bunch last time, that led to hardcore stalking. Granted, we might have been hardcore stalked even if we had told the truth, but it, did, it probably didn't help. Rena freaked out when we lied to her. <laughs> I finally run out an answer between ragged breaths. Mion's expression softened a little. Uh-oh. Yeah, please do. Tell them I wasn't doing anything bad. I've been a good boy for Santa Claus this year. To everyone, make sure. Everyone. Everyone? Who is everyone? Bye-bye. Wait, Mion! What do you mean by everyone? Just then? A freezing cold hand touched the back of my neck. Uh oh. Hi, teacher! I was just, uh, I was washing my face. I I ran into Mia and wanted to make sure she was okay! <laughs> the teacher's the most realistic, uh, scary, though, in the game. The fear of being caught by the teacher. 
It was the teacher. I was taking so long and she came out to get me. Ah, I was not playing hooky. I turned around, but Mion had crossed through the schoolyard without me realizing it and was now standing at the gate. Oh, how could I say no to that smile? The teacher was being insistent. We returned to the entrance. I looked back one more time, and Mion was nowhere in sight. There she is. Hi, Rika. There she is. Hi, Satoko. Wow! Let's laugh at their misfortune! Ha! <laughs> my friends did their best to try and cheer me up, but it didn't lighten my mood. Was it far worse than I thought? Had I really done something that terrible last night? These thoughts remained with me for the rest of the day. Bye, Rana. By the time I realized it, I was in front of my own house. No, I'm just suffering from I know too much syndrome. I'll have to sleep it off. Rena smiled and then waved to me and left. Whew. With my shoulders bobbing up and down from breathing heavily, I entered the house. As soon as I got back in, Mom called out to me. Yeah, heck yeah! Come on, Keiichi. You know what they say. Having fun is not hard when you have a library card. Sheesh. Did it have to do with Dad's job? No point in arguing if they bring that up. <laughs> that, oh, you can get a library card now. This is great. <laughs> if I got directions like that, like, oh, it's just a bit past this, I would 100% get lost. Just then, the phone rang. My parents' faces immediately turned grim. Uh-oh. Mom snatched up the receiver. Then she thrust the receiver at my face. Uh-oh! Okay, folks. Is it gonna be Rena? Is it gonna be Mion slash Shion? Or is it gonna be Police Chief Uisi? <laughs> oh, oh, it's my girlfriend, Mom. I know Google Maps is not there, and I know not everyone is as completely geographically inept as I am, but I'm just saying, if I got directions... Oh, it's like just a bit past the Burger King. I'd be like... In which direction? For how long? Are there landmarks near it that can help me? Is there a sign? <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. I didn't read that. I tried to ask who it was from, but asking the person on the phone directly would be faster. Sorry. Hello? Oh, it's not... It's not Police Chief Uisi. Not on the phone. It was Shion. The older sister had a hangover today, but the younger one made no reference to it. <laughs> we just outed her! <laughs> she laughed warmly, but Mom glared at me, silently telling me to finish up. We can meet in person. I have to go to the library anyways. She sounded a little disappointed. What would Shion want to talk to me about? Now I was interested. Oh, we can get library cards together. Great first date. 
Actually, have we technically been on a date with Shion already? Because she invited us to the all-you-can-eat desserts at Costco. I mean, uh, at Hooters. I mean, at Angel Mort. じゃあ、いつもミオンと待ち合わせてる場所わかるか。その雑居の小道に分かれる分岐の。あ、ケイちゃん、言ってませんでしたっけ。私本家じゃなくて沖ノ宮の家に住んでるんですよ。True。だから
Oh, right. She said something like that, didn't she? Why, though? Sisters living apart is unusual. Maybe they had a falling out. No, this... They used... This is the police station. Either that or they're just reusing backgrounds, which could be the case. We were getting tired of talking while we were walking. We ended up going to the lounge area, which was vacant, and continued the conversation. え、本家って何だ随分と立派な響きがあるけどな。本家本家です。その崎家の本家。お姉は後取りだから、抹茶と一緒に住んで、色々と当主としての修行をさせられてるみたいです。ミオン、the head of the family? The word personage didn't really match the extremely sociable air that Mion and Shion gave off. From what Shion explained, the Sonozaki family goes way back to the beginnings of Hinamizawa. After the war, they had a bunch of successful ventures and extended their influence to a wide area. Gr you go, Grandma! The entire family would provide backup to help the one relative with a business venture. They were like a huge living company. That's probably not super ethical, but this let them avoid tax related problems and help relatives' ventures succeed, one after another using large amounts of money. Oh, that's definitely not ethical. Money laundering! <laughs> <laughs> we own everything. <laughs> yeah, that was the game that saved us from the bikers. Yeah, Even what few shops I remember with were involved with the Sonozaki family. It was definitely surprising. あと、商工会議所の役員も何割かはその崎生かその親類がついてます。沖宮一帯を評伝に市議会議員と県議会議員にもその崎がついています。Her relatives operate shops in downtown Okinomiya, and they're especially strong in finance and real estate. On top of that, a lot of those in the Chamber of Commerce and Industry are relatives, and there are even people elected to local offices. I knew it! This was the police station, hey, bro? All of a sudden, a cigarette-smoking, overweight old man interrupted our conversation. Well, that's not very nice. He kind of saved your butt uh, when you were attacked. Wait, I know this guy. Hey, Weezy. <laughs> totally. Yeah, she, she does not like the popo. <laughs> That's what I'm kidding. Anytime he shows up, she's just like, oh, it's him. <laughs> that was it. He was Uisi san a police officer. I thought that this was person who, I thought this was the person who came to my rescue when I got involved with those delinquents before. Now that I thought about it, Mion didn't seem to like him very much. Luisi <laughs> san laughed coarsely, not showing any sign of giving up. <sighs> Why do I keep yawning? Stop it! As Shion watched him do so, I didn't feel the same sense of ma malice from her as I had from Mion. She's smiling evilly. I feel like that's kind of malicious. <laughs> Double dating the twins. That could not end poorly. <laughs> I turned around to look at Shion and plead for help, but she grinned and maintained her silence. Her gaze wandered. She looked at the clock. Oh, she's working at Hooters again. Wait, didn't Shion have something to talk about today? 
Not this weird man is here, though. Shim left so fast she was practically running. See, she doesn't like the cops! <laughs> what is. There is definitely some illegal stuff going on with their family. I think that's why she's like, I can't let the police know about this! <laughs> I don't, what's her dark secret? <laughs> don't actually tell me. Uisi was waving at me with a grin. I felt like I'd been here, left here as bait so she could get away. Maybe she was lying about having to go to work. Uisi <laughs> put a coin into a vending machine as he said something a bit appalling. Oh no, he wants to talk! He wants to bro talk! <laughs> oh no, I, I gotta go uh, help my dad butter toast. He handed me a cup of tea filled to the brim with ice as I looked up absentmindedly. I don't think I'm obligated to have a guy like this buy me a drink, but he did get it for me, so I'll thank him. Was Uisi san just killing time? We didn't know each other well, but he still engaged me in conversation about all sorts of dumb things. When I thought back to how he, I talked to Shion, this seemed like a total disaster. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Until then, I hadn't known anything about either Mion or Shion other than the fact that they were interesting. I really only did just learn that she was the daughter of some prestigious family. Oh, I... Oh, you know this. Okay, so they are doing illegal stuff. Wow! Yakuza within Yakuza. Great. <laughs> I did not! <laughs> What on earth? She lives in a compound? <laughs> Keiichi, you probably shouldn't be dating these girls. You should probably date Rena. <laughs> Provided Rena doesn't go super hyper creepy stalker. She'd mentioned Mion being a successor, but... To a Yakuza group? No, to the good Yakuza. Masaka, Masaka. Sonozaki Mion Sangatsugun was son na chink in a Yakuza Soshiki Daki Jarimasen. Bobby had just said boring old Yakuza group. He's like, the Yakuza games just get old after a while. Kanojo Matsugunua. Sonozaki is sono mono desio. Sono atari no imi. That means she can redeem the Yakuza group. Uizi-san had spoken lightly about all this from start to finish, but what he was saying wasn't light in the least. It was abrupt and unbelievable. How is the police aware of this? And they're just like, well, okay. I guess they're too powerful. Oh, great. Yeah, let's instill more paranoia in Keiichi, just like in Chapter 1. <laughs> but she has! <笑>ミオは人殺しなんかしないぞ。ね。ぶっちゃ。しません、しません、物の例えですよ。えっと、大石さんでしたっけ名前。ねえ、そうです。大石さん、ミオの家が何だろうと。ミオは俺の誇れ
そんな悪いことをするようなやつじゃない前原さんお静かに<笑> Do you want the whole police station to know about this? ここ図書館ですから Police station is in the library. Uisi san shushed me, but in a state of heightened excitement as I was, I wouldn't be calmed so easily. Well, I know what Uisi san is trying to say. Combining it with what Shion told me before, the Sonazaki family is huge and controls everything from Hinamizawa to Okinomiya. Mion, meanwhile, is its, is its successor, who apparently holds strong influence over the entire family. Still, that's all? That's the only reason they're suspecting her? <laughs> Can we get like a spin off police murder mystery series where you play as Oisi trying to like bring about the downfall of the Yakuza group? <laughs> I would play that. He could talk a dog out of a meat truck. He was the definition of a shrewd, unfair adult. At this point, I began to think that it was no coincidence that I'd met him. The percussion instruments, those are creepy. He answered in an absent tone of voice. いえいえ違います。私はその崎美恩さんの友人と話をしに来たのではなく、前原圭一さんに話をしに来たのです。ご自宅にお伺いしたらご迷惑でしたでしょうからね。いや、that Having realized this faked coincidental meeting had me as its target, my mood immediately turned foul. <laughs> Did Shion set us up? He's playing the good cop right now. I wouldn't want to see him playing the bad cop. I feel like he could turn very scary. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uisi's one of my favorite characters. Uisi san freely suggested that I relax. That said, behind his eyes was a light, which I could only see sometimes, that was sharp as a hawk. You don't get to be like head of the police by being dumb. If I tried in vain to run away, he might actually take me in and bring me to an interrogation room or something. That was an undoubtedly unpleasant thought. <laughs> oh, yeah, made out with my girlfriend. Totally. Why does everybody want to know? I could plainly feel myself give a start. Oh, no, not the grizzly photos. He opened a small notebook and removed two photographs. I didn't have to look. <laughs> yes, give your stupid, vague lying answer to the head of the police. Yeah, he'll believe it. I was asked the same question for the second time today. I gave the same answer for the second time, too. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, you know... We had a lot of food, and then there was the party with alcohol, and, you know, it, it was, maybe, maybe I saw them. Oh, wait, we should admit that we were having alcohol in front of the police guy. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not a criminal. I would be very bad as one. <laughs> Here, too, I got the same answer as I had from Mion. I realized he wasn't taking my vague reply well. Why is he asking me the same thing Mion did? The dark feelings I had nearly forgotten due to my conversation with Shion came rushing back in a hurry. We snuck into the sacred ritual storehouse. A punishable act. It was on a tiny impulse. 
while it may not count for much now, I do feel sorry about it. Oh, now bad cops coming out. I have a feeling that they died and disappeared just like in Chapter 1, which is why he's asking about it. Either that or they're suspecting of, sus suspected of murder. His tone was soft, but there was a dreadfulness in his voice, clearly different from the first time he asked. I'm scared. That was exactly how I felt. <laughs> well, you're only a criminal if you get caught doing that. And you just admitted it on the internet. I really don't remember. There wasn't any better answer I could give him. I didn't have the balls to say I didn't see them. Nor the courage to admit I had. So this I'm too scared to look Uisi-san in the eyes. Uh-oh. <laughs> you owe me for the iced tea now. Uisi-san grabbed my shoulders and squeezed them, as if trying to give me a massage. It mostly just hurt, though. Still, why would he ask the same things as Mion? He's working with the Yakuza. If he's asking the same things, then the next question must be... <laughs> okay. <laughs> this guy is she this guy is me own in disguise. <laughs> I wondered what that sound was, and when I looked down, I saw that it was the unmelted ice in the cup I was gripping in my hands. My hands were trembling, rocking the ice back and forth. Hey, you could tell Grandpa we see anything, man. <laughs> Did you see she <laughs> You see, I, I don't know why. If you're looking for Shio and she was just here. <laughs> Realizing that, I hastily put the remaining ice in my mouth and crunched down on it. What clothes was she wearing? <laughs> I'm just waiting for the reveal to be like, Keiichi. Shion's not real. They're the same person after it was revealed they were different. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to happen. Oh! That's a new look. That's a new sprite right there. <gasps> oh, man. Why is this why is this so intimidating right here? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Suddenly Uisi Sun grabbed both my shoulders and hunched down to give me a level stare. This must be what it's like to be a deer in the headlights. I want to look away, but I can't. This is the first time I've experienced such a piercing stare. <laughs> Anyone can wear it, man! They could totally just swap clothing. <laughs> His voice was harsh. Harsh. The same as when Mion said it. I could feel my heartbeat quickening. When I realized he could feel it through my the hands on my shoulders, I got even more scared. Why? Why are Mion and Uisi-san both asking about last night? Was sneaking into that storehouse so... bad? <sighs> I shouldn't have let Takano-san talk me into it. Tomotake-san casually said to check it out too, so... Even Shion, if she hadn't encouraged me... No. I understood. I was the one most at fault here. I shouldn't have let my curiosity get the better of me. I shouldn't have gone into the Forbidden Storehouse. Oi -san. Oh! Hey! Hey, man! What's going on here? Hotaru no a young man wearing a suit came into the lounge. We didn't see him in Chapter 1, did we? He looks new. From the way he held himself, I knew immediately that he was uisi -san's subordinate. Maybe we got his voice mm -hmm. in the first oh, yeah, chapter? Oh, or maybe he did appear in one of the police skit, like, tips. I hadn't realized it until he said something. The jingle and announcement telling patrons the library had closed had started playing without me realizing it. I was so irritated, so overwhelmed that I couldn't even hear it. Wait, is this just the library? Okay, so they reused the background. 
もっと時間のある時にのんびりといたしましょう<笑> New cutie just dropped I mean he's, he's a handsome man that's for sure Dress is very snazzy as well This isn't a joke If I never saw him again it would be too soon <laughs> Hey Koichi I'm coming to your house for dinner <laughs> No Uisi san followed his subordinate and left the lounge behind him However he spun back around そうそう前原さんな何ですかさっきさせてもらった二つの質問ですがどちらの回答もよく覚えてないでしたよねえあはい参考までにあなた昨日全員終わってますよ<笑> I was watching you 四人で楽しそうに歩いてたじゃないですか石段のところで私がこの目で見てますから Oh, busted! <laughs> I caught my breath and my heart seemed like it was about to stop. What a detestable person. He, he knew and he was testing me. You, you failed your secret test of character, man. Now at least he will never trust you. <laughs> we'll meet next year. <laughs> I sat there like a rock, unmoving, until I could no longer hear the clacking sounds of their footsteps. Well, that was、uh, a thing. <laughs>